welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title of this video this is going to be a blog i'm here in mexico city at the templo mayor museum and excavations this is a temporary exhibition inside the templo mayor museum to the aztec god chipotec which probably is one of my not my favorite gods but one of the most absurd ones he is often called uh, the flayed god because he used to have the flayed skin of people on his own body for like 20 30 days <laughs> the Aztecs actually believe that without human sacrifices the world would end this is the monolith of the tlaltechutli which is the Lord or Lady of the Earth, and this is how it's supposed to have looked with colors. This is a Zompantli, a wall of skulls, which in the Aztec times were made out of real human skulls. This is a miniature of the Zocalo place in Mexico City. At the back end there now is the Cathedral de Metropolitana. And as we come around, this is the excavation site of the Templo Mayor Museum. Um, yeah, so we'll come around again. This is the Cathedral Metropolitana. And at the end there is the Palacio Nacional. So these are just some clips from inside the museum just to see what it kind of looks like. And uh, when you get in, we go there are eight rooms and you go up and then you go around and back down again so yeah these are some offerings some sculptures that they found during the excavation so this is a replica of the Choyolki stone uh, which was found by uh, accident and that started the excavations so now we are coming up into the room of Bitlubuchli, which is the Aztec's own patron god. Uh, this is a statue of an Aztec eagle warrior, and this, I believe, is a heart. So I think that this is a statue of uh, the god of the dead. So yeah, I think that's a heart. <laughs> uh, as we come further in, here are actually some pieces that have some color left on them, which I think is really cool that we have preserved. Um, just some more offerings that the Aztecs made to the gods. This is the same monolith of Tlaltechutli that we saw at the beginning. As you can see, it's missing a piece, which I don't know where it is, why we haven't had it. If we turn around, this is the stone of Chorol Chauki that we saw before. And as you can see, they have put some lights on that actually make as see how the colors were in Aztec times. As you can see, it's very brightly colored with lots of red to represent the blood, and the white, as you can see, are her legs that are dismembered. So, this is the room for Tlaloc. So, just some offerings uh, to him. Because the Temple Mayor had temples for two gods, they had one for Witzelopochli and one for Tlaloc. So this is a reproduction again of an Aztec of an Aztec market. So we can see some of the foods that they have on peppers, bean, maize, avocados, chilies, all kinds of stuff that they had. And the Aztecs were mainly vegetarian or pescatarian. They didn't have that much meat except when they ate human. So this is again a reproduction, a reconstruction of the Templo Mayor. It was one pyramid with two temples atop. And as you can see here, it has a lot of layers, as they say in Shrek, layers. Um, because the pyramid was built like one of those Russian dolls. So you have one smaller and then you just build bigger and bigger at the top. Um, Templo Mayor was built eight times, I believe, because the Aztecs believed that um, a holy spirit of some sort was at the place and then you just built on top of that again let's go outside again so i'm here at the templo mayor excavation but apparently i don't understand where you're supposed to go around here so i'm just walking in the wrong direction i think because apparently I just been to the museum 
and apparently that's some of the last things. Alright, I find it they have been going the wrong way. Now I'm turning. <laughs> that's a snake. Ooh, here's some of the color. Pyramids has been to. This has to be one of the early stages, I guess, of the temple. Yeah, stage two, so there is one that's older. So this one, these stones are from. It's built around 1400. Nice. Yeah, as you can see just gets bigger and bigger and that's the cathedral cathedral the metropolitana or something i don't know if you can see that but in the background is the biggest flag i've ever seen in my entire life no you can't read really. Cactuses or cacti. Isn't that when it's called when it's several? One cactus, several cacti. They look like they have seen better days though. Okay. Let's see some more. That building there is Temple Mayor Museum. There's not that much to see here. Plenty of stone though. <laughs> This is called the Red Temple because I guess it's a red temple. In the background, you can see the cathedral that is 60 meters high, and the Templo Mayor was 45 meters tall. That means that the cathedral is just 15 meters taller than what the Templo Mayor was. See, now I'm back at the museum. So now I need to go around the same shit again. I don't know if you can see where the church is clearly sinking to the left here and then now I don't know if you can tell but that is a giant ass flag. I'm gonna find something to eat and what I found is a tlayuda which is also called a tostada sometimes which is a fried or toasted tortilla with some things on top. So this is the Palacio de Bellas Artes, which I think is like a museum, art museum, yeah, it's really beautiful, it's a nice and sunny day. So this is what it looks like inside, it's really beautiful, the ceiling is tall, um, it has a lot of murals because they're just paintings straight on the wall. We're going to see a painting now by the artist um, Diego Rivera, which was married to Frida Kahlo, and it's this one. It has Lenin on it, and that is why it's very controversial. Rivera was making a mural for the Breakfast Center in New York, and he painted in Lenin, and this was the 70s or 80s or something, so America was in the war against communism, so they didn't want Lenin in it. But Rivera refused to take him out, so they destroyed his mural, and he made this replica here instead. It is an 
absolutely beautiful day here in Mexico City. This is the Alameda Alameda Park, which actually is Mexico City's oldest park. The park is not looking its best, and I guess that is because it is winter, because it is only February. So this is an old building. I guess this is a monument to in honor of one of Mexico's favorite presidents, Benito Juarez, which also is the name of the street and the international airport. So I guess they really loved him. This is a statue of a horse or a horse head or something, and it's called the Caballito. And this is the Monumento de la Revolución, the Revolution Monument, and this is the Plaza de la, de la República. So I think you can take an elevator up to the top there. This is the Monumento de la Revolución from the Paseo de la Reforma, which is one of Mexico's busiest uh, streets. So yeah, that's at the end there. If we turn around, there is the Caballito again, and just between those two tall buildings is the hotel that I stayed at, with, which is the Hotel Fontan Reforma. Uh, just some fountains, some funny art on the walls, and then just some funny buildings some tourists and if we turn around we can see the Monumento, the Caballito and then the building in the middle is the Loteria Nacional. This is the Mercado de la Artesanias de Ciudadela which is like market for artists. So they have a lot of stuff that is homemade, leather, uh, wood, all kinds of stuff. And as you will see from my my haul on what I got in Mexico, you will see that I got a lot of stuff from this market actually. This is from the historic center. These are some buildings from the 1500s, I believe, from when the Europeans first came here. Uh, of course, there are a lot of beautiful churches here. This is just a cute street in the historic center, which I think is called Regina. And it looks like some of the houses have been standing here and not been done anything to it since the 1500s. Now we are coming back to the Zocalo Square, that is the cathedral in the front, and the giant ass flag, which is like 5 meters. So these are just some people that are doing a show at the Zocalo Square, where they are dressing up as Aztecs and doing some Aztec dance and stuff. I don't know really if this is historically accurate, I guess not, but I find it really funny just to get a glimpse into what it was like then. So I've just come back to my hotel room and they made my bed, which I'm really happy about. This is me, I think they made this crinkle, but, but, but I do have a problem. And that is this. Can you see that? There's a zipper at one end of the uh, duvet. And as you can see, the zipper is open. And they turned the zipper towards my face. Every night or evening when I come back to the hotel, this is what it looks like. So every night I flip the duvet around so that I don't get the open side. Firstly, I wouldn't have the zipper towards my face all night, but definitely not while the zipper is open. Why is it open? Why can't they close the zipper at least? But yeah, so every night I flip it over and every morning they flip it back. This is also something I have to live with. This is a blanket that I put uh, in front of the door because it's a giant ass crack opening underneath my door. I can even get my hand outside. So, we, so I leave a blanket front 
of the door so that it keeps the light out and so that it at least tries to keep some of the sound out. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to end the vlog here because I've been talking for so much. Uh, but do subscribe so that you are notified when I'm doing a new vlog because I am doing more vlogs. Um, please do leave this video a like and leave me a comment. And I'll see you soon. Bye!